Alright guys, so what's up, I'm five back till today, got a really, 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 really quick, um, Joking about video, I'm gonna do it really quick, we got a new JP update and stuff like that, we got some new stuff up for JP right now, <clears throat> but all the stuff I just wanna, kinda wanna talk about slash go over, because, um, some of my shirt that's really tight right now, um, just trying to fit back into it, you know, but I've been losing so much weight lately, I'm trying to, like, fit back to some of these old shirts, I just wanna move from the video, because, I tried with my like other equal like American Eagle shirt. It was like blue and stuff like that. Didn't like really want to cover it with me today. Said so, yeah, it was still tight, but um, so yeah, a lot of fun back and forth in the video. Sorry about that. But, yeah, um, we got everything. We got some really good new updates for this. Um, wrong music track. I wanted to use. I wanted to use um high and like event from um Sonic and Secret Rings. I would actually use that. I used it in my Goku Black video where we got um his easy and stuff like that from Pop Universal. So, yeah. Um, again, hope I'm not spend too long on this though, but yeah, um, again, what came up stuff like that, you know, it's typical stuff, so yeah. Of course, this new great bar got an easy A, it seemed like a really old story event from a bar, a really old product story event. So yeah, um, again, it's, with, you know, see things they use here are pretty simple though, in my opinion, um, that's, oh yeah, yeah that's good, it was on until like right there. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I just need to paint the beer real quick, so yeah. Um, again, really weird though because these boots you can use right here um again it's still pretty hot where i am hot slash cold in the morning it's cold in the afternoon it's hot and stuff like that so yeah um that's just my pillow a little bit too but yeah um the units you can use here are pretty okay again you don't want to use uh, any of the SCR units you cannot use don't want to use if you want to use other uh, friends like go ahead you could get killed but yeah i think we're going to either run a great eight team great eight team or game force team um again great eight they should just got an easy day during same day in my opinion though down there in my opinion, I feel like the shit got easy on same day. That's how I just feel like right there. Um, so yeah, like, like no back curtain, something like that. I was being lazy today anyway. So yeah, I'm um, again being really lazy for this recording today. Um, again, really lazy day recording. I wasn't gonna really record the video because I forgot it came out even. I forgot like the stuff kind of came out. But I was like, you know, when I'm in the recording mood, whenever I want to record, I'm gonna just do it anyway. So yeah. Um, like I said though, um, again, um, and then you want to use the food, you guys probably use the food like Game Force team because you have two good tech units, but if you want to try to run like a, you know, bootleg like, grade 8 team, go ahead as well. There's only technically two because the other, I try to make other teams in my head, the other Super Saiyan products don't really fit. They're all going to steal and stuff like that, besides the, um, um, SDR one, he's a support type unit, he's not going to be really good, he's going to be kind of dead. But yeah, like I said though, um, um, I'm getting loose in the head right now, but yeah, um, like I said though, um, LR Freezer you're not going to bring, I'll probably say bring LR Gear Force that can help you out a little bit, but SCR is going to get kind of hurt there, but, um, again, Birder, he's going to dodge, but you got to get kind of hit first a little bit, so it's going to be bad there for him. Again, Gordo's going to be good, you know, help lean lower and attack defense and stuff like that, you know, stunning, potential stunning, and stealing and stuff like that, but it's only going to be the, for the one turn, but I still can help him out a lot. Um, if you have a couple of dupes in the game for his Goku, is going to be really good as well. And the Grape Team not have that either, but they don't have, like, a tech unit. Um, no, they have to take Grave Bardock. I'm sure he's not on here. He yeah, shows that. Why isn't he on here? That's really weird, because all the other Graves are on here, so you don't really want to run that, because, again, this Grave, especially if, like, a new player or something like that, we just started, or, you know, we've been playing the game for a couple of months or, like, a long time. Um, maybe you pull some all these Grave units. Um, the is gonna be really good for supporting and stuff like that. He's probably the best one out of all these, that's aged really well. Again, Shoe Guys be really good, because he's really just be defense, but he's really one good defense as well. Plus, she's gonna change orbs, she's gonna be dead, because she's gonna just get hit too hard. Um, again, Jace is gonna be kinda okay, he's gonna help us support, but yeah. Um, we're gonna probably tank pretty well. Again, I'll have the JP version of it. All the enemies are kinda dead too, like, maybe, like, the KVG is that you don't wanna use. Um, even, like, with their, um, you know, Awakening and stuff like that, again, they, when they, it's Super Strikes that eventually get easy A's, which is a lot of them, um, holy crap, they'll probably be one big easy A, because holy crap, man, they have so, like, those Super Strikes are quite insane. But yeah, the only thing you can use, unfortunately, is a great A Bardock, um, stuff like that, you had to have him on the team, he's gonna be the leader, so you basically, they're, trying, they're kind of trying to tell you, okay, you can really only run great A team, but you can also run the Gigi Force on the side, even though Bardock's only a leader, but still, I, it's really stupid and weird. I feel like at least they should give me like a game or a or whatever, just in case you want to change out your options. But that's all you really kind of got right there, unfortunately, though. So, yeah, I mean, you guys are okay. You can use, again, game force team you can use, but unfortunately, you're not going to really run that team because the Bardock's going to be, again, the Bardock is the only person you can be on that team. But yeah, um, for Z Hard, with the left path to give you two, um, two, um, to three bronze medals. Um, on the right path, um, for Z Hard, it'll give you seven silver medals, but on the question mark, it'll give you five, um, bronze or 14 silver, which is really good. That's, um, silver, again, probably say do Z Hard first. I'm gonna do super first so you can get that out of the way, because, again, Z Hard isn't really a cakewalk. I mean, Z Hard is pretty much a good cakewalk. Kind of like, okay, here's like kind of a warm up. Then, you know, the super is like, okay, here's the full main course. Eat this chicken, you freaking cow. What cow and chicken? Hey, cow and chicken, that's the show right there. But yeah. Um, but yeah. 
Um, for left path for um super for super hard for super difficulty, um you get times for the silver um um um, um capsule. Um you'll get um gold for five. You get five gold. Um you'll get um times two on the times two path. You'll get um five rainbow. But on the question mark you'll get gold for um you get twenty or you'll get ten. You'll get um ten gold or rainbow. Again, it's completely random. But yeah, the game force team again. The units you can use are pretty okay this time around. Again, all the graves aren't gonna be all that good because again, Burrow Ghost is just a nuker essentially. Fox is gonna be dead. Um, another super strike awakening is gonna be pretty much dead too. I probably think Game Force or Grave is gonna be best bet because no LR Freeze doesn't fit on any of these teams unless you're running like a Game Force um, team because they're all gonna be pretty much like and stuff like that, you know, kind of links and stuff like that, similar on um, links and stuff like that. That's pretty much it. You probably can really run highly run, highly run to run Game Force. The Dead Bardock isn't gonna be back either. Um, the um, physical one isn't gonna be back, isn't gonna be back either because the physical one actually is gonna be pretty good because you can help out. He'll give you, um, he's a support type unit. Again, this should got um, easy A's. I feel like the next day they could do that with the Great Ape or the Team Bardock or you know, other mass saying Bardock. For Sand Day, because they did they did come out for Sand Day in like 2017 or 2018. No, it was 2017 or 2016. We got Mass Sand. Um, so yeah, again, we're gonna probably see a big easy celebration having all those products. Because again, Mass Sand, you know, other Super Saiyan products from that event do Doken Awaken um um the same metal stuff like stuff like that. But yeah, pretty much that's all I really want to say though for that. Again, super simple easy area stuff. But yeah. Um again, this bar event, you have you, you do have to do this bar event, this whole is um Oh my gosh, I'm about to say something stupid. The um the Lone Warrior's last battle, basically the Bardock story event got revamped and stuff like that. Again, it's been looking for years. Everybody should have this done by now. You have to do it in order to even get the Bardock because he is required for the um LR Prison EDA. But yeah. I'm gonna go for this Bardock really quick though. So yeah. Um he does um and another unit we got also got Krillin Guys Awakening, Bravo Shop Krillin Guys Awakening. I know we had a day of demo for this, but I didn't really want to go over it that much because it's like, okay, they really a video, it's just two units, that's pretty much kind of short there. So yeah. So he does grade A category, key four, everything up 77%, or AGL key three, everything up fifty percent. Again, a lot of these like you know, side awakenings always usually have or you know, field by awakenings slash side awakenings usually have um or yeah, like these um type of awakenings from like story front or whatever. Well, have, ooh, actually, he actually would actually look good with Sick Effect because he has the whole his energy ball and stuff like that. His um, right, Javelin or you know, um, last spirit cannon or whatever, or final spirit cannon. He actually would look good with Sick Effect, honestly. I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, you know, like his energy and stuff like that. I actually look pretty nice. So, yeah, again, typical leader skill for his what free play awakening to buff a category and then buff the typing. Typical stuff, raise attack defense for one turn, causes screen damage, auto four additional right there. So, yeah, key three and attack defense for 77% plus additional attack um, when there's two more enemies. Um, he's not gonna be really good for the LR Freeze event because he's not gonna be fighting two more enemies. Plus, an additional key three attack and defense plus 77%. This is a wicked bloodline category um, um, enemy. Chains of Enduring into a great ape for um, two turns. Again, he just turns a great ape and stuff like that. Typical stuff. But yeah, um, again, links and stuff like that never really changed. The category never really changed as well. He just had to start. Again, typical Bardock links and category and stuff like that. Again, he's gonna look pretty well with LR Goku. Um, because some of them have like, I think they have similar kind of link, not link set, but you know, so if, if, and if he had like Super Saiyan Bar, if he does link in, instead of just straight Super Saiyan Bar, him and LR Goku, um, LR Tech Goku would link amazingly well. If he does link to Super Saiyan, like Grade 8 or something like that, that's what we're talking about heroes, like what if, like if Bardock like went Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan Grade 8 Bardock. I was just joking about heroes haven't done that yet at all. I'm really shocked they haven't done that yet, but yeah. Um, again, he's really just for fighting freeze and stuff like that. Again, um, the first part of your passive, you're not gonna see that much because again, they want you to find one more, um, to a couple more enemies. That might be good for the rise event if you're trying to get some extra drops there, but that's pretty much it though for that. Then, of course, give himself a lot of keys, being him to fidget and stuff like that. Again, really good though, honestly. Though. Again, when he goes great, he's gonna be really good for that freeze event. Again, if we didn't get the LR Fruit Prime Battle Frieza event, if we didn't get him getting his EZA, him and Krillin Wayne got awakenings because we, this would have just came out, uh, out, of, out of nowhere. In my opinion, so yeah. Again, um, he would even got again. He would never even got an awakening if the L. L. Pombal Freeze event wasn't even going on right now for the ZS. Yeah, we got Bob Shop Krillin's getting his awakening. So he does key all types key three. Um, the everything key three, everything up. Um, everything um fifty percent typical stuff. Um, he does above the category whatever because you know like um category you know STR types. Yeah, it's really good leader skill. Raise attack defense for one turn, cause supreme damage and lowers defense. Again, uh, for Bardock, you probably want to go for additional for him, in my opinion. Because he's gonna raise up attack and defense for one turn, he's already giving himself keys, stuff like that. Plus, to go for additional, because again, people who can raise up the attack defense infinitely, or even for like three turns or whatever, or six turns, it keeps going on with the defense raising. That's really good, because you're gonna be stacking a lot of defense, you're gonna be tanking a lot well, like the great A Bar like the great A play units, and the great A, um, Team Bardock units have them like, you know, do double attack, so probably go for additional for them. So you can maximize, so you can maximize their um, defensive output, so you can have like more defensive power. I go for a crit, however you want to feel like it. That's what I do. That's what I run from like, as being a YouTuber and stuff like that. 
as a joke YouTuber. So, so, so her passive attack and defense was 70, 70%, high chance of guarding all attacks as the first attacker in, this, um, in a turn, the chance of a medium chance um, of guarding all attacks as a, um, as a second attacker, um, of guarding all attacks as the second or third attacker in a turn, reduce the damage by 50% when, when guard is activated. So again, he has infinite guard, so yeah, if you go forward defense for him, Again, guard and defense are completely different. Defense is like, you know, how, like, you know, when you super attack and stuff like that, you defense going up. Like, Bergamo, Elko, and Kalipa, um, go on and stuff like that. Um, that's what, um, kind of, that's what factors in there. So, yeah, again, that's what factors in there for Krillin and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, that's why, because uh, defense is completely separate from guard. Guarding is basically making sure, like, defense is basically taking no damage, kind of, like, just tanking and stuff like that. And guard is basically, um, kind of reducing the incoming damage you receive. So again, um, him guarding is going to be really good. Again, stacking his defense is going to be good. We go forward just for him. Then on top of that, reducing damage too. Again, as a first, again, in all his slots is going to be amazing. Again, really kind of, I was thinking about first slot info, you really want to put him in the first slot. Um, but again, you put him in the first, second, or third slot, he's going to just basically guard a lot. He's going to be guarding, reducing damage, and again, if you give him full attack, if you give him full defense, there you go. Again, really amazing free to play unit, really good for this guy. I'm glad they get this for him. It's going to be really good for the Prime Battle Freezer event. Again, he's just a Bobby Shop unit. Just got a got his awakening. But yeah, like I said, for this Bardock right here, this is from the story event. Um, this Bardock right here. Um, this is where um, the story event comes from. Again, he's an old unit that awakened like a really long time ago. Like again, yeah. But yeah, of course. Um, the how to get Crimson medals? You do have to go in the Bobby Shop and get them. There is no limit on it, so you can get how much how much ever you want to. I was thinking for these type of things. So when the rest of these guys get easy games for like Chaozu, because there's a Chaozu on here, I think. Um. Up here, I'm gonna kind of scroll up slowly. I think these guys can get EZAs from in there, from the medals, but they don't awaken from the um. They could probably get EZA slash awakenings from the um. The EZAs from the um heroes termination plan, uh, event because all those dudes like you on there are gonna all eventually get EZAs. Plus, they are the first units that come out in the game. So I'm thinking Yamcha, um, Chaozu, and um, good enough Bojack to awaken from like a Bojack story event. Andrew the 13 art guys awakening. Andrew 18 art got her awakening. I was thinking the um Grand Kaki get right here. Um, the Grand Spring Kaki get one. Gohan could probably get one, but it's probably from like Sullivan. They could have away him like during the Cell Saga event. This guy could get one from um, the medals, like Awaken, get him an EZA. This guy's gonna unfortunately Doku Awaken from the Angel Goku medal, so you get, yeah, again, when he, get, when he gets his EZA, check Angel Goku when he gets his EZA, he's gonna get yeah, a sub EZA unit. I was thinking Bojack could get one, but we're gonna see. Um, this, again, they had so many opportunities to do it for him. Um, Cooler Guys Awakening, so yeah, Chao Tzu and Yamcha could get. Um, those medals from here and wake it from that again there's no limit on it so yeah again it probably could be like going by one thing you can buy it from or you could just constantly get it again it shouldn't cost you that much gems but overall it's gonna cost you probably a lot of gems anyway but yeah so i really want to go today again wait amazing awakenings amazing units for zza area pretty simple stuff like that of course but yeah I get they are required for the um, LR um, Frieza campaign thing, LR Frieza campaign. So yeah, they're amazing, amazing units, amazing update. I love this update so much. And by the way, if you haven't formed all the, um, if you haven't gotten LR Goku's EZA done, or you want to form all the other EZA units, they are all live in the game right now for JB. So you can go ahead and do that. So yeah, like I said, gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, hopefully I made it as short as I can. But yeah, amazing update. I love this update so much. They did clone service. Again, without the, um, without this LR Frieza campaign, you guys would have never got Awakening. So we really think about it, it took them this long just to awaken Krillin and Bardock. Again, it's important to make Bardock an LR. So yeah, a great Bardock LR team. I mean, we already got LR team Bardock, you know, making great apes or whatever. And then they go great in the super attack, they can just put them on giant form. That's what they did with the, um, a CR Go 10 on that it released on, um, um, with, um, technically released with, on um, Global when we got, um, when it's Awakening, we, we get the whole module for our event stuff. When the STR Goten guys are waking, he was on fusion, so we could put, we could put, definitely put, um, LRT product on Great Ape, because they will go to Great Ape in the super attack, you know. Same reason LR Gohan, Go, LR Goten and Trunks, the HO one, um, kid ones. Basically, when they're, like, like they're on, um, fusion, because they, they fuse in the Carter, they fuse in the super attack and stuff like that. So yeah. Amazing awakenings, amazing units. Hopefully, easy area. It's a hard for you guys. Again, mainly G Force and Giant Team, they really want you to run. Probably more great, because again, those guys, they, they should have got awakening, they should have gotten easy during same day. Maybe next year when they do it for same day, 2020. Um, or when they do, um, oh no, 2021 or whatever. I don't know, it's been a minute. Um, I have so much stuff on the brain right now, so yeah. Um, maybe same day 2021, they'll do a way things or give them some service or whatever. Maybe we already had a bar of feet. I thought it would be Goku thing, maybe, or Go on thing for same day. I don't know, give this like a new, um, um, kick on to professor or whatever. He goes to grade or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. See you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. All good junk again though. What do you guys about this good update? I love it so much. Make sure you get it from the only reason you do a lot of this campaign and stuff like that. See ya. Um, I'm to upload Goku because I've had a video already for like months now. I need to upload it again. I record some videos. It's like, holy crap, man. Just so much stuff. See ya. See you guys later though. Again though.
Peace out.